You can definitely kill with it. The most dangerous tool I have ever seen in my life. Look at this. So you're the inventor. What's the name of it? It's a clobberine. Okay. What does it do? It's a uh, it's a step flashing cleaner down the side of dormer walls on residential shingle roofs. Okay. Right. It's a lot faster than your traditional way of doing it. It doesn't uh, damage the step flashings or the siding, whether it's vinyl, aluminum, a board and batten, and even uh, with styrofoam and stucco. So what you do is you use this locator head to find the nail. You go underneath the shingle, lift it up a little bit, okay. and then you come back on top of the shingle, get it under there. You'll know that you hit the nail because there's a little cutout in here, right? The little yep, V, yep, yep. so the nail will fit and drop in. You know you got it, lift it up a bit. At that point, you would turn the nail, the extractor head, sideways. This is the wall. As you're going down and slip it in underneath the siding, hook that nail, and then pull it out sideways. You're using 50% pressure along the wall, which holds the step lashing in place. The other 50% pulls the nail out sideways. And the flat surface on here, as you can see, is uh, smooth enough so that it doesn't cut the step flashing in there. Love it. Traditionally, the old way we used to do it is we'd have, you know, if this is the step flashing on the wall, and you'd want to take down your hit with your hammer, hit, 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 but you have a chance of cutting the step flashing. So if yeah. you cut the step flashing, you got the wind and driving rains coming in. Sure. You're going to get a leak, right? The cost is about seventy-six dollars, right? You, if you use this just once, it's paid for itself. Because you don't get that 3 o'clock call in the morning. How, do you, how did you come up with this idea? Well, I've been doing roofing for 36 years. Okay. And I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my work. So cleaning walls, yeah, I'm a shingler. I should be shingling. That's where I make my money, right? But I couldn't trust my laborers to do it. Because half the time, when I get to the wall to start shingling, I had to stop, get out the tools, and clean the wall properly because they couldn't do it. So I thought to myself, huh, there's got to be a way. How can I just like reach inside and pull that nail up? And the light bulb went off. Traditionally, the ones that are out there are the pry bars. They don't sit up this high, right? Normally, they're about that high. And when you try and pull a nail out, you're always left with it a quarter inch stuck in the plywood. Well, this will take it right out to like an inch and a half a roofing nail, right? And this is very sharp as well, which a lot of guys really like that. It was positive feedback because you can get underneath the, the nail head without having to hit it with a hammer. Also, the old roofing pry bars would have that hook on the end there. They're, they're designed for prying spikes and nails out, not for removing and cleaning roofing nails from the side of the wall. And has absolutely no way to stay in your pouch. So now these ones here, they're always with you, right? I don't know, true. 36 years This is actually true, because pry bars, you never can put a... Exactly. The, uh, 36 years of roofing, I've got so many up behind chimneys. Exactly, it's always on your side, right? Now it's like a hammer. And you don't leave it on the roof anymore. Cool. That's that. That's it in a nutshell. All right.